Сама маю освіту вихователя дошкільних навчальних закладів і вчителя англійської початкових класах я, і ще в мене управління освітою. Hello everyone, it's time for English lesson. My name is Natalia Ljaško. Let's start! And today I would like to welcome my traveling expert. Hello, Lesia. Hello, nice to meet you, Natalia. Nice to meet you too. How are you today? I'm okay, I feel good. Thank you very much. How was your day? My day was nice and I'm sure that we're going to have a very nice lesson. Wow, okay. Ready? Let's go. So our topic is traveling. You are an expert and let's start. So guys, the first task for you. Have a look at the board. I have a lot of words. Quickly find the words that are not transport. So Lesia, we are talking about transport. Yes. Our students are looking for the words and you look for the words as mm -hmm. well. Are there any words that are not means of transport? Rocket. Rocket. It's not a means of transport? I think no. No? No. Well, probably in the future we oh, can maybe. use a rocket. <laughs> but you can say that this is not a means of transport, okay? Or anything else? A camel. Camel? Camel. Think about Egypt. If people travel in Egypt, what do they use? Yes, yes, they used camel. So camel can be a means of, tra means of transport. Uh, jeep truck, fire engine. I always mean fire engine. Fire engine. Do you remember the word fire engine? We used this word in the previous lesson when we talked about London and uh, traveling in London. Say fire engine. This is the uh, machine that is used at fire station ah, by yes, firemen. Fire, yes, fire engine. Yeah. Пожежна машина. Пожежна машина. Так. Okay. Tractor, submarine, submarine, submarine. Ship. Good. Ship. What about this one? Decker. Double decker. Ah, double decker. What's this? I don't know. Double decker. It's a red bus. Ah, it's a red bus. Yes. Again, where can we see the red bus? Do you remember? In London. In London. Yes. Bravo. Okay. Ship, Natalia. Ship. Ship. Yes. Yeah. What is a ship? It's a white white ship. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's sheep. This is different. Ah, this, this is ship. Ah, sheep. Let me draw you a ship. Okay. Ship, but board. Ah, board. Board. It's a smaller it's one. Small one. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is a boat, okay? And this is a ship. Sheep. What is yeah. Titanic? A ship or a boat? Sheep, for sure. And we also have a, one more word. Have a look at this one. Gondola. Gondola. But in gondola. Gondola. But yes. in uh, Venice? Venice, yes. Uh, yeah, it's, it's transport. Yes, we use it. So ship, boat and gondola is even smaller. It's smaller and... Um, not not uh, fat. <laughs> <laughs> Very slim, you can Very say. Very slim. Very slim. Yes. Okay. So let's go through the new words for our students today. Okay. So look at the board and uh, find the words. So ready, steady, yes. go. For the students first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What are these? And let's say you're gonna help me. Number one. What's this? Uh, it's a train. Good. Number two. Uh, car. Bravo. Trolley bus. Uh, the. Is it a trolley bus? I can't see the rails. Ah yes, not. It's it's a bus. Just a bus. Just or, a bus. Yes. Or uh, we also can call it. Do you remember the word that starts with C? I'm sure that you know. Coach. Okay. Coach. 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 Yes. So buses, they usually travel er, around the city, mm -hmm. but when you move from one city to another city, you usually use a coach. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Number four? Uh, number four, it's a plane. Plane, yes. Uh, five, ship. Good. Uh, the, um, the sixth one, uh, boat. Boat, boat yes. yes. And uh, motorbike, bike. Oh, motorcycle. Motorcycle. Good. Motorcycle and the eight, eight. Uh, it's... Uh, uh, you use this word. Uh, you said motorbike uh, and this is... Bike. Bike, bike yes. Bike. Or bicycle. 
Good, well done. Now, new words for you today. We didn't use them before, so let's go through. So, the first word, you mentioned this. Lesia, can you help me? Gondola. gondola. Yes, repeat after me. Gondola. Gondola. And you, please, gondola. Gondola. Gondola? Gondola. Okay. So, um, for example, in a sentence, I love using gondolas. I love using uh, gondolas. Well done. I have never used gondola. I have never used gondola. Well done. So have a look at the word double O's. Gondola. gondola. Good. Let's have a look at this one. What's this? Uh, underwater. <laughs> <laughs> well, underwater you remember boat. The, <laughs> remember the picture that was at the beginning of the lesson? There was a word there. Start with uh, sub. Sub submarine. Yes. Submarine. So repeat after me. Submarine. Submarine. Lesa? Submarine. Well done. Submarine. Have a look at the word. Submarine. Submarine. Have you ever used a submarine? Mm, not uh, like this, but uh, a similar some, one. The similar one, but uh, a smaller. Smaller. More smaller. Uh, okay. So submarine usually goes underwater mm -hmm. and you can see. For example, once I have used submarine when I had a holiday in Turkey. So we dived into the water and we watched the fish around. Mm -hmm. You can use a submarine for this. Let's move on. A new word? Camel. Yes. Have you used a camel? Thank you. Let's move on. And Tractor. what's this? Tractor. Tractor. Repeat after me. Tractor. Tractor. Lesa? Tractor. Well done. Let's move on. We have a new word today. What's this, Lesa? What do you think? It's not a bus. It's a trolley bus. Yes. A trolley bus. Repeat after me. A trolley bus. A trolley bus. Lesa again? Trolley bus. Have you ever used a trolley bus? Yes, of course. In, okay. uh, um, in Humilitsky, when I, when I study and live in Humilitsky, I, um, every day I use trolley bus and ah, go to, the, nice. to my uh, school or after, after school. Okay, uh, when was, you traveled home? Uh, yes, it was uh, the Bulayak Institute. Institute. Uh, university? University, Institute? yes. Okay. And after school we go to university, university? yes. And uh, I know all trolley bus in Khmelnytsk. <laughs> <laughs> so you use the trolley bus for commuting? Yes. Okay? Commuting. commuting. This is when you need to go from home to work. Commute. Commute. It's uh, like a destination somewhere. Yes. yes. When Commute. you travel from home to work. Mm -hmm. I'm commuting. Commuting. Yes. So you use the trolley bus for commuting to go from your home to the school or from your home to the university or to the institute. Have a look at this word. What's this? It's not a motorcycle. It's a smaller one. It's not that fast. So uh, what's this? I used uh, something like this in uh, Italia. Italy. Italy. Yes, Italy. this is very typical for Italy. Mm -hmm. And let's have a look at the word. Listen to me. This is scooter. Scooter, scooter. Repeat, please. Scooter. Scooter. Lesia? Scooter. Well done. Scooter. Scooter. So you have used the scooter? Yes. Okay. <laughs> a scooter. <laughs> Just scooter. a scooter. Just a scooter. I have never used a scooter myself. You, what you about you? Have you ever used a scooter? Good. So let's have a look at the words again. So means of transport. And let's think what can we use in Egypt again? Let's have a look uh, at the words. We word. used a camel. A camel. A uh, car. Okay. Uh, what about a tram? Can we use a tram in Egypt? Tram. Tram. What does it mean tram? What does it mean tram? Do you remember? Tram. Tramp. Uh, <laughs> no. Tramvai. Ah, tramvai. No, no. No, no, no trams in Egypt. No okay. trams in Egypt. Uh, police car? Police car, of course. Fire engineer. Of course. Um, what about this word? Ambulance. Yes. Ambulance. Uh, yes. Yes, okay, of we use them. Yes. Good. What about uh, England or London specifically? What can we find in, un in London? In London, we used police car, fire engineer. Uh, fire engine. Engine. Good. Fire engine. Well done. Police car, fire engine, tram. Tram. What uh, about this? Double decker. Double yes, of deckers, course. of course. What about the taxi? Do we use the taxi in yes, London? Yes, taxi, of course. Taxi. And in London or in England, we call a taxi a cab. Cab. This is also possible. Cab. A cab. A the cab. black car. Yes. What uh, is it the same or different in New York? 
uh, is it the black car? Uh, black no, taxi? No, yellow, yellow. Yellow. So, yellow taxi in New York, in London, a cab, the black taxi. Well done. What about Italy? What is going to be typical for Italy? Scooter. Good. Gondola. Uh, gondola. 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 Yes. Bus. Good. Tram. Mm -hmm. uh, train. Good. Fire engine. Well done. Police car. Taxi. Perfect. And Do the they use the metro? Car. Do they use the metro? Uh, metro station? I think no. In Italy, I've, uh, I sure. I can... What do you think? I, I I remember myself when I first went to Rome and I used the metro <gasps> myself. Yes, Rome and um, and maybe uh, other cities. In, in, in other city, yes, it's yes, It's okay. Yes, yes. It's okay. Rome has got metro. What about Ukraine? Do we use metro in Ukraine? Uh, yes, of course. Where? In what cities? Uh, in the big uh, cities, like in, Kiev. Kiev. Uh, Kharkiv. Kharkiv. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Big cities has got metro stations. Yes. 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 Good. Well done. What is typical for Ukraine? What can you tell us? Camel is not typical for Ukraine, right? Uh, camel, no. No. Uh, I think all uh, uh, all uh, worlds. Uh, all uh, words. But, but. Mm, submarine, but no. If if we talk about uh, the Black Sea, the Black Sea, or yes, Desert region, they use submarines. Yes, okay. Double decker, I think. No, no. we don't use them. A camel, no, mm -hmm. and. Uh, but at the same time, you know, gondola, gondola. We but definitely don't have gondolas, right? Yes, we yes. don't have them for sure. Talking about double deckers, have you ever seen a double decker in Ukraine? I know that you can say, yes, of course. Where? Where? In Kiev, we have the tourist buses. <gasps> tourist buses, Tourist yes, buses, yes. We have double-deckers. This is not red one, but again, this is a double-decker bus mm -hmm. that is used for tourists to go around Kiev and to see different attractions. Do you have double-decker in your city? Good. What about Jeep? Is it popular? In uh, Ukraine, Jeep. Jeep, yes. Yes, we love them. Yes. Tractors. Our people love uh, Jeep. <laughs> and sometimes those who don't have Jeeps, they can use tractors, cars, yes. buses. Motorcycles Motorcycle. are getting more and more popular. Yes. yes. What about bikes? Do you know the country that uses bicycle quite often? Do you know it? Mm -mm. So the Netherlands, they use the bicycles. Yes, of course. In in Amsterdam. Yes, they use a lot. Uh, use uh, a lot in Amsterdam and uh, Netherlands. So let's move mm -hmm. on. The homework for our students was to write a tweet uh, about the transport that can be used in Odessa. So we had a text on London, and I asked you to write a short tweet about traveling around Odessa. So Lesa, can you tell us what is going to be uh, quite comfortable to travel around Odessa? What do you think is the, the the best way to travel? I think uh, on, on the foot. Uh, on foot. I think on foot. Yes. Do you agree? Because uh, it's um, you know there's uh, there are many beautiful uh, region mm -hmm. and uh, uh, squares and uh, okay. small. Um, Yak dvorik of yard, yard, yeah, 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 yards. small yards, yes. Yes. areas. Okay, yes. and the traffic is huge. The roads are very narrow. So I agree. The best way to travel around Odessa is on foot. Let's move on. So now it's grammar time. Do you like grammar? No. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone okay. says no. I'm sure that you love grammar, and yes. let's practice. So today we're going to uh, talk about present perfect tense. Let's say it's not going to be that complicated. Present Relax. Perfect. Okay. Have a look at the joke. How do we know that carrots are good for our eyes? Have you ever seen a rabbit wearing glasses? So this is like a joke. Як ми знаємо, що морква гарна для очей. А чи коли не впливає на пану так? А чи коли небудь ви бачили кролика, який носить окуляри? Так. So this is the when we use present perfect tense, we use this for experience. So the rabbit have never experienced wearing glasses. Okay. 
So let's go with more examples. Have a look at this one. The Carltons have eaten in a lot of different restaurants. So the family mm -hmm. tried a lot of different restaurants. Yes. So this is personal experience or changes. When we have personal experience or changes, we use present perfect continuous for that. Personal experience. Have you ever tried the, uh, using a camel? You said yes, you saw the camel, right? Yes, yes. Or you can ask me, Natalia, have you ever tried gondola? No, I haven't tried gondola. This is my personal experience. Ni vlasni dosit. Okay? Let's go with uh, another example. He has cut his finger. This is personal experience as well, but what is more important here, that is the action. Have a look. Uh, the action which happened at an unstated time in the recent past. Recent past, nešodavna, and action is more important than the time. We don't have the time here, so we use present perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, and the action is more important than the time. Let's move on. One more example. He has worked as a chef since 1999. Or, I have worked as a teacher since 2006. So, the action started in the past and it continued until now. So, we started, we are still doing this, we are pr continuing doing this. And we use present perfect for this. You are a TV star, right? Uh, not, not a big, but uh, yes. A little one. <laughs> a little TV star. Yes, little so Lessa is a TV star. You have started this in the past and you are still doing this, right? Mm, you are still a TV star. Yes. So you can say, I have worked as a TV star since... Oh, uh, and you mentioned the year. Uh -huh. when I have... Uh, I have worked as a TV star since uh, 2011. 11. 2011. 2011. 2011. 2011. Yes, 2011. Can you say again? I have worked as TV star since uh, 2011. Good. Well done. So let's summarize. We use present perfect for actions that started in the past and continue up to present. He has worked in that restaurant for five years. He started working in the restaurant five years ago and he's still there. Mm -hmm. The next one, for actions that happen in an unstated time in the past. The action is more important than the time. So, he has had lunch at his restaurant twice. When? We don't know. The time is not stated. The action is more important than the time when it happened. One more. For personal changes or experience, I have never eaten pizza before or I have never tried the camel before. And the trigger words for you, so the words that I use with present perfect, just, already, for, mm -hmm. since, never, and etc. I would like to pay your mm -hmm. attention for the words for and since. If we have a look at the climb, okay? So, you have the beginning of the period and the end of the period. So, I started and I finished. We used four, for three days, for three years, mm -hmm. for five years. But if I started and I'm still doing this, I haven't finished, we use since. As an example, I have worked as a teacher since 2006. Well, let's say you said that you have worked as a TV star since 2011. Since 2011, yes. You started and you're still doing this. You still continue. And we take since. Yes. Mm -hmm. But when you started and stopped, we used for. For three days, for five days, for a period. For ten years. For ten years, yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Let's be study formation before we practice. So, subject plus have plus has plus past participle or the verb in the set form. This is how we make sentences. Let's have a look at the example. I have been to the park. Can you help me with has? What can we use with has? Have uh, I, we, you, they. What about he has? He has been to the park. Or he has been to the park or she has or been she to the has park. been. Bravo. Let's revise how we make negative sentences. So the verb is the same, eaten, eaten. But we have not, haven't or hasn't. 
So, if I have been to the park, let's say, can you help me with the negative, please? I haven't been to the park. To the park. And if I say he has been to the park? He hasn't been to the park. Yes, bravo. Good. And interrogative for questions, we put have or has at the beginning of the sentence. Have you been to the park, Lesa? Uh, no, I haven't. Bravo. Thank you very much. And the trigger words again, let's say together, Lesa. Already, yet, never, ever, just, for, since, recently. Thank you very much. Now, let's practice. A task for you. Mm -hmm. Let's focus on the verbs. There are two types of words, regular, irregular. Let's start with regular verbs. Have a look at the verbs. We have 10 of them. And I ask you to write the past participle for regular verbs. Lesia, you do the task as well with us. Okay. So you write the words yourself and Lesia is writing here. Let's check. 10 seconds. <laughs> Now let's check. So number one is play, played. Number two, Lesia? Like, liked. Liked, well done. Yes. And you check with me, do you have the same or different? Number three? Tidy, tidied. Bravo. Have a look that we changed the letter Y into I. Okay, mm -hmm. number four? Uh, stop, stopped. Bravo. And we double P here, okay? Because we have consonant, vowel, consonant. Stop. We discussed that. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> invite, Number invited. Five? Invited. Yes. Invited. Number six. Invented. Good. And number seven. Walked. Bravo. The next. Carried. Or carried. 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 Yes. The next one. Wanted. Bravo. Started. And started. And started. Dvi pomilke, dva. No, it's okay. You can have eight points. It's okay. Yes, I forget it. for double P. In yes. Stopped. Now, irregular mm -hmm. verbs. Get ready. Quickly write down the second and the third form. And we're doing with lesser. So, number one is send. Irregular. Send. Uh... Send, send. Send, send. Bravo. Break. <laughs> Break. Broke. Ah, oh, break, broke, broke. Broken, Drunk. yes. Drink, broke. drunk. Drank, drank, drunk. Drunk. Drink, drank, drunk. Drank, drunk. Yes. See, so, seen. So. Seen, okay. Do, did, done. Did, done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Think, uh, thought, thought. Thought, thought. Good. Run. Uh, ran, ran. Ran, ran. Bravo. Bring. Brought, brought. Brought, brought. Write. Uh, wrote, wrote, written. Wrote, written. Good. Cut, cut, cut. Cut, cut. So, let's do the irregular verb gymnastic. It's going to be easier for you to remember. So, you do with us. Let's do, let's do it with the actions. Irregular verb gymnastic. So, this is infinitive. Let's say send. Repeat after me with the hands. Let's say with the hands, the send. gymnastic. Send. Send. Uh, send, send. Send, send. Because the second and the third form is the same. Send, send, send. Send, send. send. Bravo. Okay. Break, broke, broken. Broke, Three broken. different. Break, break, broke, broken. Broken. Well done. See, uh, sorry, drink. Drink. drink drank, drank. 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 Bravo. See. Uh, see, saw, so, so, seen. Uh, see, so, seen. Bravo. Do, do, did, done. Well done. Think, uh, thought. 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 Because the same, good. Mm -hmm. Thought, thought. Run. Uh, ran. Ran. Run. Mm. 
run. Run? Because this is how look at me, Russia. Run, run, ran, ran, run. Run. You do oh. with us. Run, run, ran, ran, run, run. Bravo. Bring. 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 Broad. Broad. Good. Right. Uh, right. Uh, road. road. Written. Written. Good. And cut. 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 Amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. So that was the regular verbs gymnastics for you. Let's move on. Якби мене так вчили в школі, я б знала цю англійську просто на все життя б її вивчила, запам'ятала. So, Lesia, so have a look. We have regular verbs. This is going to be red. Have a look. Red. And green one is going to be irregular. Неправильні дії слова. Mm -hmm. Irregular. Правильні you write with слова. us. Mm -hmm. So, if I say regular verbs, played, state, what do you remember? You can have a look at your paper. Uh, play. Good. Stayed, what else? Stayed. Uh, tied it. Ah, tied it, uh, stopped. Stopped. Wanted. Wanted. Good. And the green one, irregular. Eaten, we need the third form, третя форма. Eaten, seen. Seen. Mm -hmm. Taken. Taken. Well done. What else? Cut. Cut, well done. <laughs> So I'm using the markers and you mm -hmm. give me the sentence. If I point to you the red marker, you need to give me a sentence with a regular verb. Okay. For example, I have played this game. Okay? okay? Mm -hmm. I point to you. If okay. I point to you the green marker, you give me the sentence with irregular verb. Irregular verbs. You say with us. You start and then let us say. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, red one. Lesa? I have stayed in... Uh, this hotel. Go hotel. Hotel. I have stayed in I have stayed in this hotel. Hotel. I have stayed in this hotel. Bravo. Now this one. Uh, I have never eaten uh ничего. Я всё ела. Подождите, другое придумаю. Так. I have never taken your money. Good. Okay. And the last one. I stopped this lesson. Well done. <laughs> what was your example? Write them down. Okay. So it's quiz time. It's a little test. You do with us. You answer first and then Lesa answers. Okay. So he hasn't seen the London Eye. Correct or not correct? No correct. Lesa, no, he correct. hasn't seen the London Eye. What's wrong with this? Uh, it's wrong because he hasn't seen the London He Yes. He hasn't seen the London, the London eye. eye. Correct. The next one, ready? We have never eaten sushi. Correct? Yeah. Yes, it's correct. Yes, correct. The next one, they hasn't been to Ternopil. What's wrong with this? It's wrong. They uh, been. They hasn't. Uh, they haven't. They haven't. They haven't been to Ternopil. Good. So, quickly revise the words and this is going to be the homework for you guys. Please write down the sentences. I have seen <laughs> in and you name the country. For example, I have seen a car in Odessa. I have seen a scooter in Italy. Or I haven't seen means of transport in the country. This is going to be the homework. They hear the bell ringing, and unfortunately, we need to stop the lesson. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you Lesia. Thank you very much. It was great. See you Thank next you. time. Bye. Програма за шостий клас, чесно кажучи, мене дуже збентежила, тому що. Як вияснилось, я трохи не дотягую вже до шостого класу. Урок був фантастичний просто, просто amazing. Е, і дуже багато корисної інформації, дуже багато нових слів. Абсолютно крута методика. Е, дуже лаконічно, чітко, цікаво, органічно і е, е, швидка, максимально швидка перевірка. Ти не встигаєш забути, ти ще більше запам'ятовуєш за цих 30 хвилин.